I grew up in this amazing city which um, is, has a real mixture of cultures. Um, just looking at the architecture you get the, the sort of elegant Austro-Hungarian buildings that are juxtaposed with, with Ottoman bazaars and markets and surrounded by Olympic mountains and, um, and folk song was, or folk music was very important um, in that part of the world. Um, people are very warm and passionate and, and I think all of those things hopefully show through my play um, and certainly although the music might be slightly different I can hear echoes of my folk music in, in pieces by Janacek and um, recognize some turns of phrases and uh, Janacek was always very keen that folk music is, is what is the key to a human soul. It was very inspiring actually uh, going to Champs Hill. Um, it's, it's, the recording is such an artificial business in a way that it's really important to have the right sort of environment and Champs Hill is this wonderful music room in the middle of nowhere in the countryside um, where you're surrounded by art and uh, has windows for a change and a recording studio which always helps. Um, and so that was really wonderful and it just made, made me focus a lot more on the pieces and um, I was just able to have the right sort of breathing space in, in the breaks when we did have breaks and so um, when the red light goes on I mean you, you just have to pretend you are in the Wigmore and you have to give a performance. Um, we didn't actually have a red light but, <laughs> but still. Um, so it was a wonderful experience actually just because um, it's, it's a, an inspiring place to, to do things and I'm looking forward to going back there. So in the second CD I'll be following on the theme of a Janacek which I've been exploring the whole of this year um, including a, a festival I created and um, another performance at King's Place Festival that will be happening in September later this year. But for, for the CD, I'll be recording the Overgrown Path and the Sonata, the uh, 1st of October, and setting it against a context of other works that were written in that period. Um, so Prokofiev's Second Sonata and Ravel Vals Noble Sentimental. So I've always been interested very much in that turn of the century or early 1900s, because so much seemed to happen in such a short space of time. So um, looking forward to exploring that as well. How did you discover that you'd won the BBC Music Magazine Award? Well, I, I discovered I, I won the award um, when I was sitting on a bus, actually. I was, uh, I was over the moon and was desperate to scream and shout, um, but I had to contain myself until I got home. Um, but it's a, it's a real honour uh, to be recognised um, by, by such a prestigious award. And um, it's, it's really made the whole journey worthwhile. It's been a long journey and um, it started off as a humble project and it's, it's wonderful that it's been so well received.